안녕하세요. Nice to see you again. Last class, we studied the 10 basic vowels, and today we are going to talk about the rest 11 vowels. Look at the first line, and there are six simple vowels. A, O, O, U, U, E. And then we made the four more vowels by combining a small stick. I hope you still remember the small stick came from the round dot. Ya, yo, yo, you. These are what we learned the last class. Today, let's make more vowels. These are basic vowels. And I wrote them here again. And then let's add the letter E, I mean the vertical line in each of them. I will show you. E, 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 and E. At an instant, I made five more vowels. Now let's check the sound of those letters. Look at the first letter. It came from A. Uh, so let's start from A uh, and keep it and say E, eh, E. Eh. Compared to A, uh, raise the your jaw a little and pull corners of the ribs back a little like when you smile and then sticks your tongue to the back of lower teeth. <laughs> Explanation is more difficult. Just try to imitate me like a copycat. But remember, drop your jaw down. E, e. You can find this sound in English, such as grab, crack, rap. E, e, e. Look at the second one. The letter came from the basic vowel o, o. So let's start from o. And keep it and say e, e. The difference between e and e depends on the degree of opening your mouth. E, 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 e. Yes, it's hard. Let's take a look at the picture. It will help you. You can see. E coming out from the high front, and then E, N, E followed by, and the lowest is A. Ah. Did you catch the degree of opening your mouth? Now close your mouth almost, and then start from the highest. E, E, E. Ah, so e opens mouth wider than e. You can find the sound in English such as kept, that, objection. Repeat after me. E, 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 e. Can you distinguish the two sounds? Actually, these days, e and e are not distinguished as separated vowels. You know, language keeps changing like a culture. However, still these two vowels are clearly distinguished in some words. For example, 매주, 매주 are different. And also, in case of people's name, Ejin, if you pronounce it as Ejin, it seems like you are calling someone else. Ejin and Ejin are totally different. So you'd better distinguish these two sounds. Now let's look at another two letters. They are simple vowels. It means when you pronounce them, your lips and tongue don't change from the beginning to the end. Look at the first letter. 
just make the lips round and like whistling and pronounced e eh, like this e uh, e uh. it's very similar with the german umlaut ö uh, for example hören mögen however the truth is even though i know this sound theoretically but i don't pronounce it like that because these days people pronounce it as a complex vowel like we, we. Both ö and we are recognized as a standard Korean. Be careful when you say we, we stop around here and don't go to the end. We, we. Because we have another vowel, we, that goes to the end, we. So always keep in mind you have to stop around here, we, we. Look at the next one. This vowel also has the same history like the first one. You can pronounce it as a simple vowel and complex vowel. To make a simple one, make your lips round and then stretch forward like u and pronounce e u u you can find the similar sound in german umlaut u u but these days we pronounce it as a complex one say we we Fortunately, there are many words in English for this vowel. There are we and window. Could you repeat after me? We, 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 we. This is a very special letter. Ui, ui. For me, it's a special, but for you, I think it's a kind of a nightmare. People make this sound when playing taekwondo. They give a shout. Ui. If you say ui, it made already two syllables. So it's wrong. Please make just one syllable. Say ui. Now let's practice the new five vowels together. The first two. E, 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 e. And next to we, 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 we. And the last one, ui, ui. Good. Let's make two more vowels based on ya and yo. I wrote them here and then let's combine the letter e. I mean a long stick. E and e. Look at the first one. Like a open your mouth wide. And drop jaw and say yeah. Could you repeat? Yeah, yeah. Let's see the second one. Compared to the first one, jaw raised and say yeah, yeah. We can find this sound in yesterday, yellow, and a point name, yet. But the two sounds are very similar. It may be helpful if you remind the low a eh and high e. Eh. Still very hard. So I prepared a big tip. These days, many Koreans use them without distinction. But remember, the degree of opening mouth is different. Ye. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Now let's combine two bright flowers and two dark flowers. Look at the bottom. And uh, there is bright O, and I will write bright A. And then there is a dark U, and I will write dark O. Look at the first letter. Wa. It starts with O and ends with A. Wa. Wa. How do you react when you receive a present? Wa. Wa. Very bright sound. Look at the second one. On the contrary, wor has two dark vowels, u and o. So it makes a very dark sound. A combination of two bright vowels, wa, is used to welcome, whereas a combination of two dark vowels, wo, can be used to prevent. Let's practice. Wa, wo. And here are the last two vowels. Look at the bottom. I prepared wa and wa. Let's combine letter E a long stick. E and E. Can you see both letters also have E and E? Look at the first one. So you have to jaw drop and open your mouth wide. Where? Where? Do you remember where should stop in the middle? Where? Where? But this sound, where, should go to the end. Where? This sound is similar as wept, wet in English. Look at the second one. This vowel has high e, e. So like e, we is a high sound, while we is a low sound. It means compared to we, you have to raise the jaw. When you write waiter in Korean, we use this vowel. We, we. We finished all 21 vowels. As we looked at, some vowels are very hard in pronunciation and are not clearly distinguished from the others. However, there is a good news. One vowel makes one sound. This is a huge advantage for learners. As long as you memorize 21 vowels, there will be no problems when reading Korean. I mean, in English, for example, A makes various sounds, such as article, ask, address, almost, and even makes complex vowels like ancient and software. And in element, the three letter E have three different sounds. But in Korean, do not hesitate and just read what you see. Let's check the whole vowels. Look at the first line. There are six simple vowels. A, O, O, U, U, E. And then we made four more vowels after combining a small stick. Ya, yo, yo, you. Next, we combined a long stick to the first line and made five more vowels. E, e, we, we, e. And we added a long stick again to the second line, ya and yo, and made ye, ye. After combining two bright vowels, o and a, we made wa. 
and two dark vowels u and a made w. And combining a long stick to wa and w, we made the last two vowels we, we. So far, we have studied the consonants and vowels for five classes. In the next video, I will share how to combine consonants and vowels to make syllables. Have a wonderful time. 안녕히 계세요.